Warning! The following video is not over exaggerated. Most opinions shared are in fact accurate to my thoughts and feelings. Rosalina has done some bad things during her time while appearing in the games, and I don't appreciate it. Her speed in Super Mario 3D World is almost as slow as a turtle before gaining boost power. Her voice is beautiful in Super Mario Galaxy. Go, Mario. But her voice is so bad in Mario Kart Wii. However, it was drastically improved in Mario Kart 8 onwards. <laughs> Wished it was this voice from the moment she was introduced. I do not like how we see Rosalina for the first time at the end of the main storyline in Super Mario Galaxy 2. I wanted to see more of her! Well guess what? You can. Only if you complete the hardest level in Super Mario Galaxy 2's pose game, the perfect run without dying, hence the name. Rosalina wasn't playable in Mario Kart Tour until the Tokyo Tour, which was the second tour. That is way too late! Mario Kart Tour failed to give Aurora Rosalina a top shelf slot on any variation of her own track. One of her alts in Mario Kart Tour has the worst skill item known to the game. Her being playable in Mario Golf Super Rush was the main reason that I ended up with a very bad YouTube profile picture. Rosalina doesn't have the stats in Smash Ultimate, which is why I main Pyramithra from Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And speaking of Smash Ultimate, she forces the poor Lumas to fight. What have those Lumas done to they deserve this? I feel like Rosalina is being a show-off that she can levitate off the ground. She needs to get on her feet more and get some exercise. No wonder why she is so heavyweight in Mario Kart. What is hiding underneath that giant bang under her right eye? Does it make her more attractive? In Super Mario Galaxy, the hint Toad will ask if Rosalina is a witch. Not until the Halloween 2019 tour she wasn't. Super Mario Odyssey had a promo artwork of her holding a guitar, but ended up being scrapped in the final version. We do see her, but not the way that we wanted. In Super Mario 3D World, I feel like we can get by with just Rosalina and not her Fire, Boomerang, Tanuki, or even Meowslina outfits in the game. Her spin maneuver is already broken enough. Okay. What happened to her voice? Okay. Did she become sick upon arrival in the Rosalina tour because of the Carolina virus? A little known fact about me, I am allergic to cats. So, why is it that I like Meowzalina more than the other Rosalinas, especially Aurora Rosalina? It makes zero sense. In Super Mario 3D World, Meowzalina has cat voices. But while racing in Mario Kart Tour, Nintendo did the lazy way and added her original voices instead. Rosalina's story to the Lumas about how she became the mother of the Lumas is the saddest story I have ever read. Oh boy. Well, if you want to help me become untriggered in this video, there's going to be a video in the end cards called Why Do I Like Rosalina? Please consider watching it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, see ya.